Hi everyone, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs and today for my video I am showing you a brand new project kit that is available in the Occasions 2016 catalog and if you turn to page 33 you'll see it it's called Enjoy the Little Things Project like Kit. Easel on a clipboard. And there's 13 interchangeable panels here that you can change out to go with a holiday or a, any time of the year that you want to change it out. And today what I'm going to do is show you what's in the kit first. And this is how it comes packaged. It's in a plastic bag. And of course we have the directions and these are all photos of all the projects plus there's tips on a two-sided sheet. So as you can see all 13 of them are shown Now here. another product that goes with this um, kit is the stamp set called Enjoy the Little Things. And we are actually going to use some of these images on some of our inserts. And that's also on page 33 of so the So now catalog. what I'm going to do is actually go over each of the inserts with you. I have put my kit together and these are all of my inserts. And I'm just going to go over them with you and give you a couple of little tips maybe to smooth things along when you start putting your kit together. So this is the clipboard easel that came with the kit. It's got a really nice black finish to it. It's got the string on the bottom that holds it up for you. And as you see, this is how it stands up. And then all you do is open up the clipboard part and slide. Whoops, I need to center that slide in your insert and then you can just display it in your stamp room or any room of the house it's really cute what i'm going to do is try to go in order that these are shown on your sheet so when you start assembling these you can just follow along or take notes as you watch my video so the first one is the be brave and what I did with the canvas material, I used tear and tape on the back. If you have sticky strip, that would work also. Um, and then I used the Tombow li multipurpose liquid to glue my little pieces on my little wooden sticks. And this one was quite easy. I added a scrunched up glue dot under the ribbon to press that in place. So this one was pretty simple to put together. For the second one, it's the Celebrate Today with the balloon. And when you open up your kit, there's a foam uh, layer that goes under this balloon. And it actually has a center to it. And I decided I'm going to keep this because it's thick foam. And I'm going to use that under a balloon somewhere. Um, we do have a new balloon punch in the Occasions Catalog 2016. And I might be able to use this somehow. So I, I am going to put this aside. So for this one, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put the foam outline of the balloon on the underside of this portion. But you have to glue the window sheet on first. So I use multi-purpose glue to glue the window sheet, just adding glue around the edges press that in place and then I added my foam to the back and as far as what goes inside in your packet you have a little baggie of sequins and this is what I have left over when I'm done gluing them so I'll have enough there for another shaker card you also receive little heart cutouts in the black and the white and I just used my paper piercer to push those through and all I did was put a little pile right in the center once I glued all of my balloons in place. Make your little pile. Remove the backing off of the foam and just press that in place. It's pretty simple to put together. And then I didn't like the way that the strings looked on the sample. They're just kind of all over the place. 
So what I did is I added a glue dot to the end of my ribbon and I put it on my paper piercer. I lifted up the balloon and just slid that under and pressed in place. So then you can line them up, all three of them. I added two glue dots down here and pressed my ribbons on the glue dot. So now they're all perfectly lined up. I like the way this looks a lot better. And again, I added a glue dot for this bow and multi-purpose glue for the little wooden bow. And again, I didn't like the way they had theirs um, popped up over the sentiment. So I brought mine down to the level of where the ribbon meets or the string meets. So that's number two. For number three, these are tissue flowers. There's five of each color. And what I did is pierced a hole with my paper piercer in the center of each one. And then you're going to put a brad through all of the layers. Once you have that done, all you do is start with the first layer and scrunch it towards the center, next layer, next layer, until you have all the layers scrunched up. And it kind of looks, let me show you what it looks like. It kind of looks like this when you're done. And then you just kind of fan them out the way you want until you're happy with the way your flowers look. Um, I did use stamping dimensionals under my mason jar, which did not come with the kit. I just think it looks a lot better with it being popped up. I did go around my the, the mouth of my jar three times with the twine instead of just once and then tied it into a bow. So this one was pretty simple. For the fourth one, you glue the doily first, and then this is pre-printed with your um, butterfly images, so you glue this in place. And I added the butterflies all in the same row in the directions. They have them scattered, like one's right here, the next one is here. Oops, I'm sorry, I get that too high. Um, the first one is up here, the second one is here, and the third one. So you can mix them up that way if you want to, but I preferred to put them all going in the, down in the same row. Um, for my sentiment, I turned it over after I stamped it. I added fast fuse. You could also use tear and tape. And this is the gold the skinny gold twine that you use and how I do my twine when you I'll put this closer you can so you can see it what I do is I take my two fingers go around like four times and then add my third finger and go around a couple times pick it up there's your loops and then you would just press in place on the back so that they stay there and what I did with my string, you notice how nice and round my circles are. I actually used my flat iron and I gently ran it across the string. I also did that with the thicker twine that came with the kit because um, I didn't like all the kinks that were in the rolls. And for number five, it would be your Valentine's themed card and look how beautiful the gold foil is on this heart very simple you glue the gold onto the white heart and then just glue it to the insert same thing with uh, with this wooden element you do add the string as you can see it's right there it's probably hard to show it on camera but again I just looped it around my fingers and glued it to the back like I did on the previous insert and now we have the teacup insert and I know that um, I'm going to be doing a class on this and I know a few of my girls are into tea um, teacups and teapots and tea parties so I know they're going to fall in love with just this one and I know they're going to want to take my class because of that um, this one's pretty self-explanatory I did stamp the heart image a little bit lower than what they show. I just thought it looked funky there being so short and being up top like that. So I put mine more towards the bottom. These are just stacked and glued down flat. I did pop dot my little tag with stamping dimensionals. 
and I think it looks cute that way. So this was a really fun one to put together. And we are halfway there already. This one has the feathers. I totally did this one uh, different than what shows on the sample. They have all three feathers lined up and I thought, oh, what a waste to have the gold hidden because you really couldn't see it that well. So I glued down the mossy meadow leaf uh, feather first and then I put this one a little bit to the right and added this one to the left with stamping dimensionals. And as you can see, we have twine around that last feather also. Same thing, make your circles with your fingers, add tear and tape or fa uh, fuse fast on the back and push them in place. The sentiment is also uh, popped up using stamping dimensionals. The next one is make every moment count. This one is pretty simple to put together. I added stamping dimensionals on the sentiment layer and on my flowers. And the button is glued in place with glue dots. Now, if you know me well from following my blog, you know that I like fall and I like fall colors. So I think if I had to pick a favorite, I'm thinking this one would be my favorite. Um, and this one is again pretty simple you just glue all the die kits in place you stamp on the um, acorns this one's on the base of the acorn and this one is on the tops the little wooden elements come with the dots already on them so this is all glued down flat but I decided to add half a dimensional on the back of all my little toppers to make them pop this next one is one of the cards that you would use in between holidays or birthdays, just a quote of the day kind of thing. It's really cute. It's funny because the panel in the back is like a rainbow. It has three colors to it. And as you can see, the three colors peek through the wording. And I thought it was a little neat that they had the yellow, the orange, and the pool party. And mine just happened when I placed it. I happened to have a little bit of pool party in these two words. And I think that kind of looks neat. And again, you're going to do your, your little twine on the back like you did your, your other pieces. The next one is really neat. It's a sunburst and it's got the gold underlayment. You would glue that one in place first. And then you glue the um, Bermuda Bay colored one. I love the way that looks layered together and everything else is just glue, uh, glued on there flat so that one's pretty easy and next we have our Christmas one I have a little story for this one when I started putting this card together this insert I kept it for last because I thought it was so cute and it's got so many pieces on it well I started gluing my pieces down and my word little was missing. I have hunted everywhere in my stamp room and I cannot find it. This is how the pieces come. They're all in sheets and you just pop out what you need. And I don't know where it went. I don't know if maybe when they were packaged it fell out, but I cannot find it. So I used the popped out portion and used old olive ink and just sponged it on there because I needed to do something. So that kind of fills in the missing word. Um, these are all pretty much glued flat. I used uh, Tombow glue on pretty much all the pieces. And this one's pretty self-explanatory. These are all stamped with the stamp set along with the sentiment. So even though this one has a lot of pieces to it, it's pretty easy. And you see the, the yourself is in gold foil. Really pretty. For the last one, and this would be your New Year's, throw kindness around like confetti. This is punched out by itself. And this one is actually a strip that goes behind the insert. So you can see it um, over the letters. And all of my sequins are, um, I glued them down with glue dots. 
So as you can see, this kit is a wonderful kit. It has a lot of really nice elements to it. And for those of you that are local, I will be having a class. I'll send you the information soon. And if you have any questions about any of these inserts, please feel free to send me a, an email or leave me a message on the YouTube video. I hope you plan on purchasing this kit. Um, I will leave the link to my online store at the end of my video also. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.